Welcome back to the Man United stream. Hope you're doing well. We're talking about transfers and that's all what we have going on today because it's absolutely crazy right now out there in the transfer market. The teams are going crazy. Other clubs are now joining in the race and it's just mayhem. All the transfer news coming out of different clubs. Who's going to who? Who's trying to sign who? Everyone is trying to hijack each other's deals. We're going to be discussing that and lots more in today's show. Of course, we're going to be discussing Man United and transfers and who they're going for and who they're not getting and who they are getting. It's just absolutely crazy. So stick around. Make sure you hit the like button on this video. Make sure you subscribe to the Man United stream channel so you can keep up to date with all the latest transfer news and more coming out of Manchester United. Okay, so let's kick off today's show with Yusuf Fafana. Yes, we disclosed yesterday that Man United have approached Yusuf Fafana's agent and team and are looking to discuss terms with him, agree some personal terms before they can go to Monaco and agree a fee for him but is this really happening we're being told by some sources that AC Milan are still in the driving seat they're still very close to signing Yusuf Fafana and Man United will not be able to hijack this deal will this happen will it not we are being told it will not happen Man United will not be getting Yusuf Fafana that is very very bad news but it just sounds like the whole plans that Ineos had put in place for all these players like De Ligt, like Maserawi, like Ugarte, have all fallen to pieces. It's all gone down the drain because it just seems like other teams have got ahead of that United. United have stalled. United haven't been able to come up with the goods. They haven't been able to agree fees with the clubs. And now it looks like all these best laid out plans have fallen apart and United just do not know what they're doing. I mean, Ineos started off really well with bringing in Zertsky and then bringing in Euro, but then that's it. They've just stalled. It's just absolute U-turn. Absolute chaos has hit Man United and there's panic setting in now with United. We're hearing reports that United are really now scuppering to get some players in because they know they need to strengthen this squad. They know they need to bring in more players. They know Ten Hag is not going to be happy with this transfer window and many fans will not be happy because we're watching this from the sidelines seeing that United are just letting these players go. Now we're hearing overnight that Zuba Mendy, Zuba Mendy, the Real Sociedad midfield player that we were talking about yesterday is now on the target for Liverpool. Liverpool have opened negotiations with him and Liverpool are in the driving seat. Liverpool look like they're going to actually get him. If that is the case and that does happen, United fans will not be pleased. We at the Man United stream will not be happy either. This is not what we're looking for. We want United to go out there and get their men. And if that was Zubin Mendy, we should have brought him a long time ago. I think Zubin Mendy is just simply too much for United to go out there and pay for. And that's why they're going for cheaper options. And Yusuf Fafana might be someone up their street. But again, even Fafana is not cheap. We said this yesterday. United are looking to sign players for absolutely nothing. And that's not going to happen. That is not going to happen. United will have to pay for these players because there's other teams after these players. Unless United go and pick up someone really young, someone off the radar, then United can pick them up for cheap but if you're going for seasoned players players with experience players who've already hit the scene already played in Europe and have established themselves you're not going to get them cheap because other clubs will be interested other clubs will be hovering around like Zubamendi Zubamendi is a classic example of other teams looking at him very carefully United are not the only team at the negotiation table and that is the problem now Manuel Ugarte looks set to come to United but that looks like again another deal that United will have to walk away from because of the price. We're also hearing about De Ligt being the same thing. United like De Ligt. De Ligt wants to come to United, but they cannot agree a fee with Bayern Munich and Bayern Munich are not willing to let him go on the cheap. That is the biggest problem right now we're seeing in the transfer market for Man United. We like being positive on the Man United stream channel but this is very hard to look at and be positive. Right now all the plans in the transfer market look like they're falling apart. United do not look like they know what they're doing. We don't know who we're going after. We're not closing on any deal. We're agreeing personal terms with the players but we can't 
can't agree the fees and that is the biggest problem right now I mean what is going on let us know in the comments below what you think so far of the transfer window are you happy with what we're seeing or do you feel the same as we do that United are just falling apart in this transfer window make sure you hit the like button on this video make sure you subscribe you are watching the Man United stream channel